Alright guys, so I'm going to have a little mukbang <laughs> with my vending machine finds. It'll, it'll be fun. Ooh. Isn't Japan where uh, mukbangs originated? If so, I can understand why, because you can find food very easily. Alright, so <laughs> here's what we got. It looks like one big piece of chicken. Yeah, it's one big piece of chicken and some mysterious fries. It was only three bucks. It's worth the experience. But what I'm really excited for is this alcohol. <laughs> this little cocktail, 3%. Not bad, but like nobody ID'd me. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh yeah, there's the warmth. Yeah, it's like cranberry orange. Okay, so that gets 10 out of 10 because it was a dollar. Oh, these fries look a little mysterious, let's see. They're alright. You can tell it's like frozen food. Would be better with ketchup, but they didn't offer that out of the vending machine, so... Mm. It's really hot, which is good. Because when we were talking about this vending machine uh, chicken nugget products last night, my former foods ed teacher was like, mm, I wonder if it's actually hot enough in there. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, but. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. It, it just tastes like a, you know, your typical Walmart chicken nugget. Mmm. $4 meal. Like, I can't complain. This gets a, uh, well, I have to consider it's frozen. So as a frozen dinner, it gets like 9 out of 10, as food, like 5 out of 10, but like, mm -hmm. as frozen food, it's just good. Very hot. <laughs> I don't know what they did in that vending machine, but it's burning. Mm. Good. Wow. Life. <laughs> Hmm. Well, this is good because I'm actually eating it. <laughs> um, I really don't care for a lot of the food here. It's just not my kind of thing. Oh my gosh, only 200 calories? I am going to lose that 10 pounds. <laughs> Between having only a roll and a little bit of bacon for breakfast and uh, only picking at my other meals, about 10 pounds, gone. Here I am, trying to have dieted for the last couple months in Canada. Best diet tip, leave the country. <laughs> See, I don't mind trying new foods, but um, my stomach, when I travel, is already a little funky as I drink alcohol. <laughs> it would take a lot of these to, to get drunk, but they're very yummy. Mm. Good review for that, guys. Yeah, so, I don't know. A lot of rice every meal. And rice is one of those foods I've been starting to avoid because um, I'm like, after I eat it, I don't feel well. And I was trying to figure out, like, why? Am I allergic to grain or something? But no, apparently, like, rice like something with the acid in your stomach and it sticks to stuff and apparently if you don't drink a lot of water with rice you will experience that pain so it's not just me and i'm not allergic it's just it sticks to your i don't know what it is something in your stomach this is good this is what i'm used to right coffee microwave food sounds like university mm -hmm. i haven't had ramen noodles yet I haven't had ramen noodles my entire university career, which is funny because a lot of the kids like live off that more or less. But I don't know. I've always had a kitchen at university. The kitchens at Laval were very convenient, so like I would cook actual food. This is really good. Mm. Well. <laughs> 
things I never thought I'd do. Come to Japan, first of all. When I always thought of travel, I never thought of Japan first. Like, it's a very interesting country, very beautiful. And like, I've always thought I want to visit as many places as I can. But um, this is a good chicken. It's actually, look, it looks more real than your typical nugget. Mm. Yeah, um, but of course my high school was doing this trip. I was like, I decided to go very spontaneously. And I'm really glad I did. But it's still weird to think like I'm in Asia, I'm in Japan. What is life? And it's it feels different. Oh no, look. They even provide chopsticks because who doesn't like chopsticks to eat your uh, chicken nuggets and fries? Mm. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. It's just like being in a picture. Like, it's exactly what you expect, which is really cool. Because some places you go, it's different than you expect. Um, but here, it's it's what I was expecting. And everyone's so happy, like, in the stores and stuff. And they're often at the markets and stuff. They're announcing what they're, what they're giving out, which you don't see in Canada. It's really cool. Like, I can't understand squat, but it's really cool. Another thing that I want to discuss during this mood bomb, even though my food's gone, my alcohol's not gone, we can still have fun, guys. Um, actually, probably more fun if I'm drinking this than just eating some chicken. Um, but yeah, um, it's weird because my loved ones are like still on July 4th. And it's around, well, I guess maybe not now. But okay, for example, when I woke up this morning, it was 9 a.m. here, and my loved ones were experiencing 9 p.m. July 3rd, right? Oh, see, I can't even explain it. Basically, the thing is, when it's uh, 6 in the morning here, it's 6 p.m. at night back home where my parents are, so it's a 12-hour difference. So I'll be in, like, this morning, I woke up July 5th, they're still partying for July 4th, except not because I'm Canadian, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So we're, like, in the future, which is weird, and then tomorrow the Riders are playing, no, actually, today the Riders are playing, like, tonight, July 5th, Thursday, July 5th, but I'll only be watching the game 10 a.m. July 6th what that's the part that gets me it's like not knowing is it Wednesday or Tuesday and like my family is in a different day it's like I'm in the future but not because even though I am in I can't even explain this you're probably like huh maybe I'll drink more maybe that'll help yeah but it's weird we lost Tuesday I was telling Lisa because we got here at 3 p.m. on Tuesday we went to bed at like nine so that's like six hours of Tuesday but like we left on Monday and we got we arrived our destination 3 a.m. our time we woke up 3 a.m. the day before I'm sorry I'm confusing you grab a drink it might make sense <laughs> but yeah so this is actually really good like if this had about another seven percent alcohol It'd be a fun party drink. But I'm so surprised I got it out of the machine. Like, we're not all the drinking age here. I'm 20, so I can legally drink this in Japan. I'm not breaking any laws. Yeah. My loved ones are on a different day. Ah, yeah, because Saskatchewan is actually still... They're like 15 hours different. So they're still in July 4th, and it's July 5th. This will be another fun conversation to have when I'm really drunk someday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm loving Japan so far. It's like unreal. It feels unreal. So yeah, I got some souvenirs. Um, I always get a keychain. That's my main souvenir. So this will be my Tokyo keychain, unless I find another one that says Tokyo really clear. I saw one yesterday when we were at the temple, but we didn't have much time for shopping. But this is the art museum we went to, and it has cats on it. They love cats here, which is 
it's my land, right? I would never live here, like it's really fun to visit. I love the cat enthusiasm, um, but mainly the food is just not for me. And also not knowing a language is really like unnerving because I'm not used to that. In Canada, it's French and English and I'm fully bilingual. So even though I can't speak as well in French as English, I understand it just as well. So like whenever someone's walking by, I can usually understand. Of course, there are foreigners in our country and I don't know what they're saying, but it's not, you know, it's not all around you. It's not the signs. Like today at the museum, it was weird because normally we have, like even in Quebec, you'd have French and English. And if I was cheating, I would read the English, but I could still understand the French. Here we go to the museums and um, it's all Japanese, which makes sense, right? But as we learned in Histoire de la Langue class, <laughs> even though I almost failed that class. I actually almost failed a class. I Sometimes I think about that and then I drink. But anyways. <laughs> I'm fortunate to know the lingua franca, which is English, meaning the language that we communicate between countries with, the international language, because it's still present here in Tokyo. A lot of the signs do feature English, which I really appreciate and which makes sense because, you know, you have a lot of international business here. But, um, yeah, I think I really want to teach English in Quebec. I see, like, I love the idea of living in Quebec, preserving French, because it's so important, especially in Canada. Like, we want to keep our two national languages alive, and there are less French. And I, I really love think the thought of teaching more kids French, but also I, I loved, I fell in love with Quebec. And, like, when I went home in Saskatchewan, just recently, it didn't feel right anymore. Moncton doesn't make me happy either, but in Quebec, I was so happy. It was just so beautiful, and I loved the way of life. And it's funny because before I went there, I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about Quebec, but they they seduced me with their province. <laughs> like, I, I love the whole province. Um, there's so much to do. There's always something going on. I like French, I really do. Um, and I'm feeling upset about not going back to Quebec right away for school like eventually I will go back because that it makes me happy when you find something that makes you happy you gotta hold on to it but um I was thinking I was kind of like upset about not going back so I started watching some Quebecois uh, tv shows on the plane and I just I really want to continue improving my French because it really really had a wonderful change when I lived there next last year so that's my goal now. And I think teaching English in Quebec will be very valuable to the students because if they want to travel, English can really help them. And that's one of the main reasons they do teach English in Quebec is because they want their kids to be able to travel. And like I said, here, you still see English. There are a few people that speak English. So it gives you that, that opportunity. And um, a lot of the media is in English, you know? So, I still think preserving French is very important in Canada, especially since they're a minority, but I think also having a solid English will help them travel, maybe it'll help them move to other provinces and spread their French. So that's my goal now, and I, it's funny, you have a whole life plan and then it changes, but this is the first life plan that really makes me happy because I wasn't happy. Before my internship, like this past winter, I was like, I was like, should I go to medical school? <laughs> um, I wasn't happy with my career path, but then once I taught in the Quebecois school and I got really good advice from my stage teacher, I, I fell in love with the province and I, I realized that it is possible to live there. And like I was talking to with my friend, he kind of pointed out, you don't have to live one place forever, which I had always, you know, kind of had planned, like Moose Jeff forever. But you get a lot of experience living in different places. Like living in Quebec for a year completely changed me. Hopefully going to France for school in the winter will really change me because it's a new culture, it's a new way of life. And the thought of living in New York for a year seems like so much fun or a big city like Montreal or Edmonton. These are like challenges and adventures I'm really open to now, which I wouldn't have been a year ago. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. <laughs> I uh, hope you grabbed a drink. This one is very good. I'm feeling a little buzzed. <laughs> it's probably the heat, because this is only 3%, but of course, it's me, lightweight, but um, 
Also, I haven't been eating much, so, you know. But yeah, uh, if you're ever in Japan and you are not used to the food, you need something very North American, <laughs> pick up one of these uh, bad boys. Yeah, I'm very North American with my, uh, my eating habits. But yeah, it's so fun to learn about a new culture and to get drinks out of a vending machine. <laughs> so take care, friends. New video is coming soon.